Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to write bending moment diagram for a frame. So I request all of you to so go through my first video where I would explain in detail how to write bending moment diagram and marking the final end moment and all. Here I will go you know, in a faster way compared to the previous problem. So this is the problem statement given. So here we have a AB element here, BC that is horizontal element and BD is the vertical element. So on the span AB we have 2 km per meter UDL is acting or a span of 3 meter. 10 km is acting at a distance of 2 meter from point B, 3 meter from point C. Whereas on BD no external load is acting. So height of the BD is 3 meter. So here we have on the two spans we have more you know external loads for that we need to calculate free bending moment value. For span AB for UDL we are all know the bending moment formula is WL square by 8 that is equal to 2 into 3 square by 8 you will going to get 2.25 kN meter. That is for span BC eccentric constant heat load WAB by L formula. So 10 into 2 into 3 by 5 you will going to get 12 kN meter. So here I have applied slope reflection method and calculated final end moments for each end. So the MAB formula MAB value is 0.16 kN meter clockwise. MBA 4.79 kN meter clockwise. MBC uh, minus 8.11 kN meter anti clockwise. MCB is uh, here since we are having inch support. So at the end we have the moment is 0. So end moment is 0. If you go for BD span. So MBD is 3.29 kN meter clockwise. MDB is 1.6 kN meter anti clockwise. Now we will start with what free end moment uh, sorry final end moment diagram. First so as we discussed in the previous problem. First we should write the frame with supports. Then we should mark at the inverted arcs on all the spans. Okay. First you should go for AB span. On AB we have two arcs that is two moments we should write here. So if you look at MAB 0.16 kN meter clockwise moment. While writing I should I should mark the arrow mark here to get clockwise moment about A that is like this. So on here I should write if you write here you are going to get anti clockwise. Anyhow I have discussed in detail how to mark this in the previous video. Please go through that. Next if you go for uh, AB span, so the nature is anti-clockwise. So about B point, this the arc I suppose to mark here anti-clockwise moment. Okay. Then if you go for BC, so what is the value of BC minus 8.11 that is nothing but anti-clockwise moment. So while writing here about B, I should mark here anti-clockwise direction here to get anti-clockwise moment about this arc. So if you go for CB, CB value is 0, I have written 0 here. If you go for BD here, so you are at B now. And see at you know towards D point. So anyway, we have marked the arc above this. We should mark now the arrow mark. If you know the BD value here, BD value is clockwise. Now we are here to get uh, clockwise moment about B point. I should mark here on this side. If you mark here, this will give anti-clockwise moment about B point. So like this, anti-clockwise. Therefore, we should mark to get the clockwise nature. I should mark here the arrow mark. So likewise, if you go for D point, now we are at D point on this arc. Where I should mark in you know, 1.6 kN the arrow mark here is to get clockwise nature about D point I should mark on this side. If you mark on this side you will get anti-clockwise. Therefore this is the mark we should do. Then we should go for you know writing the bending moment diagram. So write uh, the you know the frame. Okay first you write the frame with line. Then you go for what the support uh, at, you go to support A. So then you see what the moment acting at support A. Arrow mark is, is you know down the beam. So I should mark the you know to this ordinate here 0.16 ordinate. Then if you go for on the other side B A span and that is on A B span only if you look at from B we have you know one moment 4.79 this is acting above the frame arrow mark is you know above the frame that is uh, beam. Therefore I should mark 4.79 here. Then I should join these two. That is the first step. Then next step is if you go look at B C where here arrow mark we are on again on the above the beam. So therefore I should mark 8.11 here. So if you go for CB, CB value is 0 since it is simple support mark 0 here. So join these two points that is 8.11 and 0 point. Then if you go for BD span that is this element. So since already we are having negative moment here on um, the thing is we should mark positive. Before that if you look at you know, the arrow mark here this arrow mark is towards left hand side of this element BD. Therefore I should mark ordinate towards my left hand side since it is arrow mark on the left hand side. If we go to D point we have 1.66 kN acting here. If you see the arrow mark is acting towards the right hand side of the BD, BD element. Therefore I should mark here right hand side. Then join these two. So as of now we joined what support moment 0.16 from here to 4.79. 
then 8.1120 and then 3.292 1.66 then we should mark what free and uh, bending values that is 2.25 over span AB since it is UDL load we should write what parabolic shape here I have written here so if you go for 10 kN the value is 12 kN meter where I should write what the triangle shape like this from B it should start to reach 12 kN then it should be connected to 0 here okay so no load is acting on VDSP, no need to write free end moment diagram here. So then we need, so this is the overlapping portion where a sagging moment, you know, cancel sagging moment here. So here in this portion, we, in, uh, in a blank portion here. So then if you go for uh, marking the plus and minus, nothing but sagging and hugging moment. So if you look at AB span, AB, so due to this end moment, the beam will going to sag like this. Okay, so this is what pushing the beam, therefore I should write plus here. So any positive bending moment we should write plus always. If you go for 4.7 and this is what this will go to you know fully you know pushing up the beam. Whereas 0.6 is pushing down, this is pushing up the beam. Due to this moment, the beam will go to bend like this. Therefore, I should mark negative here. So similarly 8.77 BC span, this will this is pushing up. So this will be like this. After pushing, it will go to cause agging moment. Therefore, I should mark negative here. So any it is zero at this point. If you go for this uh, BD span, so here at this support, you know, joint at B, we have already negative support moments. Whereas while marking here, I should mark positive. Why? Because it has to cancel each other. Then the remaining thing is opposite to this, I should write here negative. So this is what the bending moment diagram we should write. So we, we should be careful here at joint B. So since we are already having negative moment, we should write positive here, the sagging portion. So don't look at this signs. Directly you can write the thing here, positive. And the opposite to this should be negative. This is what a bending moment diagram for this frame. Thank you for watching my video.